Well, this is Father Adam, and so many people ask me, Father, where does your enthusiasm come from? You're such an enthusiastic person. You show so much enthusiasm for life. You beam with joy. Where does it come from? Well, let me show you. This is my own private chapel where I come to pray and immerse myself in the presence of God as I kneel here in prayer for each and every one of you, for your intentions, for your needs. But enthusiasm, the word enthusiasm comes from the Greek, entusia, the first part, en theos, in God. You hear that word theos? That's where we get the word theology from. Theo is God in Greek. En meaning in God. And usia means the very essence of something, the, the very uh, substance, the very being of a thing. And so our being, our source, that which moves us, that which animates us, has to be God. In other words, when we are in God, in Theos, our being oozes from us. That's where you hear the word usia there, en tusia, that we ooze God, that, it, that God leaves us, that enthusiasm just beams from our being. So where does your enthusiasm come from? Mine comes from God, being on fire for God. He is the source in whom I live, I breathe, and I have my being. Things, you know, come and go. So many people have placed all their eggs in the basket of their work. And what happened right now during this pandemic? Boom! You know, so many people put all their eggs in the one basket of their stuff or the stock market. It crashed before. It crashed. It, you know, it comes back and it crashes again. That's life. That's stuff. So many people place all their eggs, eggs in the basket of their bank account. Or even we place all of our eggs in the basket of someone, some person. And you know that people betray us in this life. They hurt us. The people who leave you, who hurt you, are so often the very people that you love the most and that you thought loved you the most. That's how it is. It's the experience of Jesus. It's what happened to him in his life. Who betrayed him the most? The very people who loved him the most. You cannot place all of your trust in people or in stuff. The only one we are to trust fully is Jesus Christ, our Lord and our God, who changes not. The prophet Malachi says, God is the same. God does not change. God says in the book of the prophet Malachi, I am God and I change not. The Bible says God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Everything else is fleeting. It changes. It comes and it goes. But God stays, always remains with us. That is the one promise that we are going to be hearing this week. And lo, I am with you always until the end of the world. That God remains always, always with us. He will never leave us. And no matter what I go through in this life, I am to be filled with God, filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with the enthusiasm. It's supposed to ooze from me as I remind myself when bad times and hard times set in in my life, that God is with me and that everything is going to be okay. I will make it through anything and everything because God is in me and he will never leave me. Heaven and earth can pass away, the Bible says, but God will not pass away. His word will never pass away. So that's what we have to glory in and remind ourselves in and find our enthusiasm, not in the casino, not in sex, not in stuff, not in money, not in people, not in something or someone, but only in the one, the one that is with us and always will be with us. 
as I bless you today and I share this smile with you and this enthusiasm in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.